Disclaimer, this requires an exploit that has since been patched. In order to use this method, you must not have used a recent update to the Pokemon XY, Omega Ruby, or Alpha Sapphire game. If you have, this will not work. Shotgun. Llama. Hello everyone, thank you for clicking Welcome to Shotgun Llama. Today I have a special tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how you can export Pokemon from your save files for your games on your computer on your emulators and actually get them into Pokemon X or Y or Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire on your actual Nintendo 3DS. So first of all, you have to obviously have the ROM of the game, you have to have the emulator, and you have to have the save file. Now if you're using uh, no cache GPA, it'll just automatically create a save file wherever the game is saved, like this one here for Pokemon Platinum, if I can find it, um, it should be, it should be some, oh no, it doesn't, it puts it in here, I think, sorry. It puts it under here. <clears throat> so, uh, no cache GB will put it under a battery folder, and it has the same name as the game you're playing. Now, if you're using Visual Boy Advance, there's actually, um, load and save, which, uh, no, not that, import export, sorry, that will let you export the battery file directly so you can just load up your game, load up the thing, save it, and export the battery file to wherever the heck you want, although by default it will just create one where the game is. That's what I was thinking earlier. Um, not there. And here, you'll see Pokemon Yellow uh, saved. That's what that is, uh, for example. And if we go into Destiny Me, it does the same thing, where you can just load it up, and you'll have the option to... import and export backup memory, and it also has its default in the battery folder. So once you have your save, you're going to have to get up a save editor, depending on which game you have. If it's generation 1, 2, or 3, you can use something called Pokemon Save Editor Legacy Edition or something like that. Is that an updated version? I'm not sure how it works, but I have it here. Pokemon Editor Legacy. So open that up. Open, and I'm going to go navigate to place in here uh, in here in yeah uh, sorry in here and in here and uh, yeah in, in here okay Pokemon yellow open that up yeah yellow some errors doesn't matter now you hit Pokemon and I can choose any of these Pokemon I want I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and with Lumpel the example hit edit and this is for Generation 1, 2, and 3, by the way. Now, if you're in Generation 1 or 2, you need to convert it to 3rd Gen. You hit Convert up here and hit Gen 3. If it's already a Gen 3, you don't have to do that. So I'm going to hit Gen 3. It's going to come up. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to come up like that. Go to File. Save As. And just save it somewhere. It'll save it as Gen 3 Pokemon. I'm just going to go ahead and save it as Documents. Lumpel. And save it. Now that'll work for Generations 1, 2, and 3 games. For Generation 4 and 5, you're going to get something called Pokegen, which I have right here. Okay, get Pokegen. Open up Pokegen. It's opening. Let's just give it a second. Go to File, Open. Uh, just go to wherever it is. I have it under, um, I think I have it under here. So I have this uh, hacked save file for Pokemon Platinum. This will work for Gen 5 games also. Open it up. Just choose any of these Pokemon, whichever one you want. I'm going to go with this uh, Lot Bunny, I guess. So, view data. It'll come up. You can see all of its data. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's good. So now you go to File, Save Pokemon from Tabs, and you do the same thing. I'll put it in battery, because why not? Blah. I'll just I'll just save Lop. Save it. And like I said, this works for Gen 4 and 5. Now, once you have your either Gen 3, 4, or 5 Pokemon file, you go to a program called Pokegen. I mean, not Pokegen, Pokehex, which I have right here, or PKHex, if you'd rather call it that. And it will load. It will load up. Okay. Now you go to File, Open, and just open whatever it is. I'm going to start with Lempel, which was under Documents, because I was lazy. And I just... I just go to uh, Lempel. That should do. You see? Now, it didn't come up on its own. I had to search for it because it wasn't technically a supported file format. But luckily, even under the file format it was, it will come up and it will recognize it and it will convert it to third gen. 
So now we have it in third gen form, <clears throat> and you can see here we got all this stuff. Um, according to this Poké Transfer, and of course it is because it came through from a Generation 1 game into Generation 3. But it did all this, and it converted the IVs and EVs for us. Actually, a Pokemon editor legacy did that for us. And now we have that, <clears throat> so we hit QR, and it will bring us the QR. <clears throat> and you can also open the, uh, where did I put it? I put it in here. The Gen 405 one instead. I'll go ahead and get that up. I saved it as WAP. And that will also work. Um, as you can see, it'll work very well, and you can get the QR code. Now there's a QR export which you'll need, and that requires that you have not done a certain update on your Pokemon game. I'll have to put a disclaimer about that in the beginning, because if you did that, the QR export won't work, but if you haven't, then it's actually pretty easy to do, and I'll walk you through it in just a moment, but what you do is you clear out the first space of the first box in the PC, you exit the PC, but don't take a step anywhere. So after you exit out of the PC, you don't take any steps anywhere. You go to the home, but don't close the game. And you load up your camera, scan the QR code, it'll bring you to a browser, the browser will crash, and the Pokemon will be in your PC. And we're going to do that. I'm actually going to record us doing that right now. Alright, here we are on my Nintendo 3DS and my copy of Pokemon Omega Ruby. As you can see, my first box, its first spot, is empty at the moment. Nothing there. You want to make sure there's nothing there. If there is something there, it will be overwritten by whatever you try to put there. Now, I exit out of it, but you'll notice I don't take any steps anywhere. Immediately, I just go to the home. Don't do anything else. Like that. I just press the home button right here to do that. Now, what I do is I hit L and R at the same time. So, it's loading up the camera. What I do is I hit this thing here to get the QR code scanner and by the way to do this I think you may need to clear the browser history on your 3DS but I'm not certain I'd recommend you do it so I hit that little button there to bring up the QR code scanner I don't think it registered there we go now I get up the QR code on here and I just aim it see I have the QR code on my computer from Pokehex and now I just aim it at it like this line it up and it will URL found. Pretty weird looking URL, that's really what we want though. So, go ahead, hit OK. It'll ask, launch the internet browser, OK. I want to say yes, and you'll notice it'll come up, it'll say it's loading, failed to load part of this page, and on the bottom it'll say injecting running exploit. Because it's running the exploit and injecting the Pokemon into our game. So just give it a second. An error has occurred, please save your data, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually what you want to happen, don't let it fool you. Now just go ahead and start your game back up. You want, just want to uh, start it back up. And if we should go ahead and go into the PC. I'll just load up Lynette's PC, organize boxes. You'll see in the first spot of the first box. Whoa, what's this? Is it the same Lopany we found in that Pokemon Platinum save that we exported and now is here with us? That's so cool! I can't believe it! It's amazing! Oh my god, it's amazing! It's really- <laughs>